in a set. If you Hello, everybody. Do you hear me? Okay, great. Renata, do you hear me? Can you please turn on your microphone and video so we can start? And here is Renata, our presenter today. Hi, hi everyone. Can you okay, hear me? Okay, I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you and I can see you. So I think all other participants can also. Can you also see my presentation now? Yes, I can okay. see. I think everybody else also can see the presentation would you like me to start or we would need uh, uh, no i will i will say okay no i we i i suggest that we don't wait uh, another participant they will come if if they want to come aha uh -huh, okay mirna is here so mirna uh, can you if you can hear me type in the chat can you hear me? If we can hear each other, that's a good start. Mirna had the technical issues to to log in in a webinar platform, so I'm very gr glad that she's here now. Mirna, if you can hear me, please click on the uh, icon near the audio word and video word so we can hear and see each other. Just a minute, please. I will call Mirna and see what's the problem. Then we can start on a few minutes. But Renata, be here. <laughs> no, no problem. problem. Not here. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so Mirna is here, but no, she's not here anymore. Okay. Um, okay, I think we can start. If she will be here later, we can try to to do the, the presentation with her. If, if she's not here, um, she's uh, here again.
Give me just a okay. minute to close the door, okay? Okay, okay. Hello, can you hear? Uh, yes, I can Hello? hear you, Mirna. Can you, can you hear turn me? on? Yes, I can hear you, oh. and I'm very, very glad to to hear you. <laughs> okay. Yes, I know. I'm glad to. Okay. What should I turn on or off uh, or? The video. the video also, like audio, uh -huh. just okay. turn on the video that we can see you. Okay. okay. Great. Okay. Great. Okay. Can you maybe uh, close the? Um, the 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 door uh, the window uh behind you can you uh, i can't uh, okay. you can no, okay. I have to. That, that's okay no. okay okay um aha uh -huh, very poor uh, sound distorted matia uh i don't know uh, for me everything is okay i think uh it it um maybe maybe you should um do something with um with audio system maybe uh, i don't know but i think for the uh, the webinar platform platform everything is okay i don't know everybody else do you hear us uh, correctly yes i can hear okay Me too. okay okay so uh I will say a few uh, things on the beginning. Uh, Renata is the first one who is presenting, and then Mirna is. Uh, uh, you are on the on the line. Uh, we can um, maybe if you will have a problem with the um, presentation because we didn't uh, get the uh, che check issues. We will try to 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 solve solve it on. Um, so, uh, I welcome everybody uh, to this uh, sixth um, webinar in front of um, co-working, the uh, CoWorkMed project. This is the last one and uh, my name is Ivana Mišetić. Uh, I welcome you all uh, in front of Development Agency Zagreb. Uh, today's topic is co-working as a new trend. You can all uh, see us and hear us, but um, you uh, can't um, turn on um, your voice and your um, video. So uh, if you want to contact us, uh, just uh, type your question or your comment in the chat. The first one who will uh, speak about uh, co-working as a new trend is our Renata Marusic uh, from Development Agency Zadar. So, Renata, uh, the floor is yours, and um, just um, uh, you can start. Uh, thank you, Ivana. Thank you, everyone, and hello, everyone. I'm glad to be here with you uh, today, and uh, uh, I, I can see that there are a few people that I already know, and it's a pleasure to see you again. Here is uh, Matija, Mirna, Panagiotis. Hi. Uh, hi, I can see also Isabel and Leclerc, and I, I will be really uh, glad to see you uh, soon in Zagreb again. But uh, in the meantime, uh, let me also to introduce to others myself and my organization. So I am Renata Marusic, I work as a head of project implementation unit in uh, Zadranova, which is creation uh, public institution. Uh, we are funded by uh, local and regional uh, government, uh, that means Zadar County and uh, Zadra uh, and the city of Zadar. Uh, you can see um, where we are situated. Uh, uh, as you can see, this is uh, like a middle uh, center uh, of creation coastal part. Uh, Mm, on the map, uh, you, you, you can't see uh, the, the borders, but uh, we are just across Italy and very close to Bosnia and Herzegovina border. Uh, I would say that this geographical position defines uh, our activities and our strategic orientation also, as well as, well as our um, services that we provide uh, to, to our founders, but also to, to, to our local community. So our basic services are strategic planning, preparing European projects, implementation of projects, support of, for SMEs, and we are a one-stop service center for investors. Uh, I will say something about uh, our experience in uh, EU projects, because uh, 
mm, we combine in fact those three activities and services uh, and I will uh, explain something about that in this presentation. So how to use uh, and implement European projects in order to support SMEs. This is uh, uh, the point where we come to co-working as a part of our experience. Back in 2012, when we started uh, the first, we participated in fact in this period in the project of co-working and um, it was financed uh, within uh, Leonardo da Vinci program, long life uh, learning program, and it enabled us to gain basic information and knowledge about co-working concept. It also enabled us to, to, to make a first contact uh, with the co-working community on European level, uh, visiting first co-working spaces around uh, Europe. Uh, once we gained this experience, a theoretical experience, uh, we uh, practiced let's more this experience with a new project which we, which we started uh, in 2014. Um, it was co-working other project which enabled us to refurbish and equip um, 370 meters square of first co-working space called COIN in Zadar. Uh, as a local government and uh, public institution, we, we um, identified this co-working concept as a great opportunity for um, facilitate new businesses and uh, uh, to, to help to in self-employment um, to potential uh, entrepreneurs. So this is the coin today, in fact, it's not today because it was a, a Christmas, but uh, this is the space uh, today. And now it has like 30, uh, 30 um, permanent uh, users and some, something like 300 uh, users that comes, uh, that they come uh, and use the space just uh, temporarily. Uh, we continued with, uh, with the co-working in the third project in 2015. Uh, it was European co-working network project within the Erasmus Plus program, which resulted with these uh, three intellectual outputs. And uh, they are in a, uh, you, can, you can approach them on the website of European co-working network, and it can be very interesting. I also mentioned that in a Greece meeting of um, uh, co-work med project, this comparative study, which studied uh, the differences between private, public, and NGO sector um, as a, as a uh, operator of co-working. Also, we produce this manual how to organize um, and brand, I would say, uh, one co-working event for young people, and uh, the model um, um, basic uh, basics of uh, uh, entrepreneurial education for young people. Mm, the, within this project, uh, we uh, gathered more than 200 young people and we um, showed them uh, real examples of co-working uh, within uh, partners' uh, countries. So it was Belgium, uh, Spain, uh, Latvia, Hungary and Croatia. Last year, we started the fourth project related to co-working uh, and it is um, financed, uh, financed with an uh, interact program, Croatia, uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina and Montenegro, with total budget of almost a uh, million euros. Uh, we uh, will um, open very soon, I hope, four new uh, IT-oriented uh, code hub co-working spaces. Um, there will be situated on the map, you can see uh, one in uh, Croatia, two uh, hub spaces in um, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and one space in Anikšić in um, Montenegro. The first one is open just uh, two weeks ago. It's a, a hub a called Hub Monster. Uh, and uh, it operates uh, and uh, attracts a very, uh, um, very much local um, community because it's, it is the first co-working space in uh, Mostar. We recognize definitely those co-working values of collaboration, community, openness, accessibility, sustainability, and we think it's, it is very important to follow the basic principle of co-working values. Uh, but um, we think that um, there are some uh, issues that uh, is, um, is good to understand before start to, uh, with co-working. Uh, 
uh, the values definitely are something that uh, has uh, have bring uh, this, this kind of values to society. Uh, then, uh, if, while you bring the main values at the same time to survive, you have to make some profit, and uh, you have to maybe to 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 go to the public sector to involve them in a, in an initiative to in order to. Uh, be sustainable and um, to be uh, not just uh, on a financial level sustainable, but on more in, on institutional level uh, sustainable and to gain as much as possible support of the community. For Mediterranean area, if we are talking about those uh, challenges, uh, these challenges are uh, definitely tourism and digital nomads as a great opportunity for for further development, especially for um, exchange of experience and knowledge uh, with the local community of those who, who come to do, to work to to cover in spaces, um, there is, there are um, great opportunities and possibilities for networking and collaboration uh, among different co-working spaces and co-working networks already established, and uh, it is always necessary to keep in mind that better services. Uh, bring uh, more value to co-workers. This is my uh, whole presentation, but I am free uh, here, uh, and I'm very glad to answer your questions if you there is any. Uh, and I will be really happy to to meet you soon. Hopefully, all of you in Zagreb. Thank you. Thank you, Renata. If you have uh, questions, you can type the questions in the chat. Renata, maybe um, uh, she maybe uh, needs to go before the, the end of the webinar. So now it's your turn. OK, I can only say that uh, all these um, co-working spaces are um, very col uh, colorful, col with a lot of color. And um, it's uh, very uh, nice to stay. So it's very uh, nice to be there and to work there. I think it's not a typical office. Um, I, uh, 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 Florian, I uh, have no question. Yeah, but, but she, thank you for the presentation. Yes, we will see each other in Zagreb. Our um, TPZ is also full of co uh, colors. So Renata, um, uh, I will ask you something. Um, can you tell me uh, what do you think the future of co-working in the Mediterranean is? And may, maybe uh, some of the challenges that you had um, dealt with um, in the be beginning your work with co-working and uh, maybe what are some of your challenges now? So what was at the beginning and what what, what is now something that mm -hmm. you need to, to do, yes. Uh, according to our experience, but I think it's not something typically for Mediterranean countries, is that always the, the biggest challenge is how to attract as much as possible users and how to, how to invite them to the space and how to uh, show and demonstrate them the, the, the benefits that, that, that they can gain uh, from the uh, co-working. Um, so, I think that the, the biggest challenge in general is uh, the program and the service that you offer in a co-working uh, space. Um, you, you saw our last project uh, of uh, creation of a network of uh, um, regional network of co-working spaces. I think it can be one good uh, maybe option for further development of co-working in Mediterranean countries, as well as this uh, uh, co-work med project uh, can be a good start for it. So networking, uh, collaboration among different co-working spaces, exchange of experience, not just professional, but, but also cultural experience backgrounds, I, I think it really can help to build a community and to, 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 to contribute to personal and professional development of co-working users. Okay, thank you very much for your answer. We don't have uh, questions from our participants, so I can only say thank you and see you in Zagreb. And um, we can um, go on with our Mirna. So Mirna, Hi. your presentation is uh, here.
Okay, Renata is turned off her video, but I, I hope that she's with us. Um, she's staying with us. Okay, this is your presentation. You can start. Uh, you have um, this little word next um, below your um, your presentation, so you can uh, turn on your slides while you are speaking. Uh -huh. Okay, great. Can you hear me well? Or Yes, we can hear okay. you. I, I can hear you, okay, I so hope. Okay. Great. Okay. So, uh, hi everybody. Uh, I'm Mirna Karsen. I'm pre president of Social Innovation Lab. It's uh, an NGO. It's a, a regional organization based in Croatia, working in the field of social innovation, uh, mapping and supporting the creation of social innovation uh, in different fields. Uh, we are looking at co-working as uh, one of as uh, as an example, as a great example of social innovation, especially uh, in the in the area of uh, from the from the perspective of uh, management and uh, cooperation and partnerships between different sectors. Uh, so we uh, we have uh, cooperated a lot with uh, Matia Raus and uh, the uh, Croatian Association of Independent Professionals in this, uh, as well as with many other co-working spaces in uh, Croatia and in the region. Um, uh, here, I would like to. We don't have. Uh, we're not managing a co-working space per se. Uh, so this is not our role. But uh, we are supporting and. Uh, uh, again, looking into mapping different uh, different examples, different models, so that uh, we can also uh, be able to provide uh, support in the establishment of uh, similar um, similar models or similar or different uh, co-working spaces in Croatia. Uh, I will say I have a lot of slides, but uh, it's actually I will go through very uh, very quickly. Um, I'm not even going to repeat uh, what Renata was saying. Uh, what is co-working? I think uh, the the whole project is about co-working, so I don't think there's a need uh, uh, for that. Uh, but maybe I would like to give uh, because the uh, the question is also on the future of co-working, on the models, and what next, and what works, what not, uh, and. Uh, uh, I saw in Croatia that uh, uh, there's a lot of examples where there's a lot of copy pasting from or just applying uh, the same type of co-working spaces in different cities and different localities. And the question is, is that real? Is that necessary? Is this really, those models are really uh, addressing the needs of uh, the target groups? Uh, so before answering those questions, I, I don't know if it's uh, possible to really answer it in such a short uh, uh, time. Uh, the, the, I will just like to give uh, some some pathology of co-working. So we have different labs, uh, open spaces for collaboration, like fab labs uh, for 3D uh, uh, printing, and uh, city labs uh, uh, with public sector and creation of urban innovation, digital labs. We have university labs for uh, for students. We have incubators uh, for startups and accelerators. We have home office spaces, uh, coffee shops, collectives, the jelly, which is uh, uh, very popular now, is the uh, is a more uh, a flexible uh, or like a party kind of zone where uh, people gather and meet and discuss different uh, issues, different topics. And uh, they often are uh, a basis for co-working space in the future. Uh, also, co-work labs, uh, co-working spaces, maker spaces, hubs, pop-up hubs, rural hubs, uh, or island hubs. Uh, Renata was mentioning also hubs for digital nomads. So these are different, uh, uh, similar, but also diverse type of co-working uh, uh, opportunities where uh, a lot of them are really adapted to the local communities and the communities that uh, they want to um, provide spaces and they want the community to grow and really um, build the partnerships and cooperation because that is what the, the co-working is all about. Um, just models and examples of, uh, of different types of co-working. Uh, we have uh, pop-up co-working. Uh, and one uh, really great example, and Matia, is that Matia Raus is with us or? Hello, Renata. Can you hear me? Matia, introduce yourself in the chat, please. Matia, Hello, has, um... uh -huh. 
Is that Mati Arauz or because I wasn't in the beginning, so? We don't know. He can uh, type if he, he can he, if he can hear us because he had uh, problems with the sound. But okay, well, in any I case, uh, uh, okay. Well, so Matia knows definitely much more about uh, the uh, the spaces. I will give them. I will give just a brief overview, but maybe he can also jump in. Uh, Polygon is uh, it's a great example in Slovenia. Uh, which started as a pop-up space and uh, kind of like a living group where people would gather and uh, discuss different uh, different projects. Uh, each uh, person organization had 15 minutes to present and then they would discuss uh, uh, and give feedback. Uh, it started from a pop-up uh, space and uh, what uh, even you said, those are really beautiful spaces, and it's very much a focus on designer space and uh, and also the creative communities and creative industries. Uh, but that's definitely not what it's all about. And designer coffees or fashionable coffees and stuff like that. Uh, it's all about uh, community and building partnerships and support and uh, uh, joining in new projects. So Slovenia Polygon is really, really great example, and maybe Matija can say a little bit more about it because he knows the uh, the people there. Uh, co-working space, as uh, uh, I would give example in Nova Iskra in Belgrade, uh, which started uh, also from a very small designer community, and it grew into not only a, a co-working space with offices uh, for everybody that uh, wants to be there, uh, but also um, it's uh, some kind of a, a, a maker space uh, or it's also a platform uh, for developing new products, designer products, and for also uh, promotion, uh, marketing, and uh, launching it uh, at the different markets. Uh, it's, uh, they have a really amazing uh, designer, it's called Folk, uh, Crafting the Everyday, and uh, they have great, uh, great designer products uh, that are being sold now all over Europe. Uh, so this is kind of uh, uh, a mix or a fusion. I will say a little bit more about uh, the future of co-working. And, and uh, I think the Nova Iskra really presents a great combination of a co-working, uh, community building, and also uh, a basis or a platform for creation of new products, which uh, uh, also connects with tourism and sustainability and the opportunity for these spaces to really grow and uh, um, there's a niche for that uh, and uh, this was recognized in Belgrade in Serbia within this community but it has not I feel like some communities and some co-working spaces in Croatia has not recognized it yet and I think Renat and Zadar because they're so connected with tourism I think they have a better chance uh, to maybe link that uh, I've been working with Pula with uh, uh, a, a space with the association of NGOs in the, one of the military buildings, Reutz, uh, which has uh, a, a great opportunity for uh, developing into a co-working space, but also a maker space and, uh, and to provide this kind of fusion of different co-working spaces. Uh, with the possibility of creating their own unique uh, um, product and that would be sold and that would link also to tourism. But because the co-working space and the association has grown from the activist uh, NGO community, uh, they're very reluctant to go into the, uh, into the market, into the open market. So this is kind of, uh, so you have, uh, very different models. It really depends who started the co-working space, who is the audience, who are the users, and how can, because about co-working space, it's also about sustainability. And uh, a lot of co-working spaces at the end provide office spaces uh, because they have to survive at the market. So you kind of lose that community building and cooperation uh, element because they have to survive. So. I think this kind of fusion with the creation of, uh, of new products and the uh, and connection with tourism and, and other economic development is really really uh, it's really crucial for for any co-working space to survive because there's so many right now. 
uh, makerspace also very uh, it's a really great uh, uh, model where you have again you have the creative industries you have the creative communities uh, you have different uh, skill sets and also possibility to uh, to offer different kind of services uh, think that education or classes or equipment or uh, skills or events uh, so uh, and also to connect the IT to technology uh, social innovation creation of new products so this is I think this is really great and it can also work in uh, in uh, combination with the actual more classic co-working space uh, Radiona is, uh, is an example in Zagreb, uh, it's a makerspace. Uh, they also provide education. They're um, working in the area of STEAM, so science, technology, uh, art, and, uh, uh, and math, uh, which is, uh, it's, it's again, uh, another good example. Uh, Pop-up hoods are uh, also an, another example of a co-working space that, can, that actually with a combination where creative industries and creative communities are really key, uh, and it, uh, uh, it can actually uh, include the entire neighborhoods. Uh, the focus here is on revitalization of neighborhoods uh, with the pop-up schemes and pop-up models where uh, creatives uh, take over for a short time, for a temporary time, uh, empty spaces, uh, uh, businesses, et cetera, and really grow and revitalize the, the, the neighborhoods. Project uh, Ilica is, uh, uh, we worked with Matia on, uh, on actually, and one of the initiatives was to revitalize the Ilica uh, through this pop-up uh, um, it's a management model and this is what I said the social innovation of is definitely an innovation because it includes uh, users creatives and also space providers or owners which could be private or city state and it uh, uh, again allows for the um, for the revitalization of these uh, empty streets and obviously for economic development and tourism. Uh, so these are really uh, different, different models. Uh, so the question is, uh, what is the future of co-working? Uh, I would say really depends. Uh, you have to assess the needs of the communities, the assess uh, the needs of the, uh, uh, of the localities, the opportunities that uh, uh, the the space provides and also that uh, this community provides uh, and uh, not to just copy paste uh, uh, different models from different cities and uh, which uh, again uh, I saw I see this as uh, especially in Croatia as being the kind of modus operandi uh, so blending different models provide hybrids fusion um, provide something that is not like a, just a classic office space uh, uh, that is more into rural hubs, the pop-up hubs, the travel hubs or hubs for digital nomads, uh, and also look at the different management models. A uh, really great example is uh, uh, cooperation with public sector, example in France, La Cantine. Uh, so include the cities, the municipalities, uh, and the others in uh, um, and create this new management models. As I said, the business models and connection with tourism or creation of new products offer a new uh, sustainability. Uh, so this would be kind of an overview and uh, with a focus on uh, what I'm thinking is uh, could be the future of uh, co-working. Uh, definitely there is uh, there's a space, uh, uh, but I think I would really recommend not to again just uh, uh, provide the similar spaces, similar types of models for um, for uh, different different localities and different communities. Really look into the needs and uh, co-create with the communities to provide something that that really works for that uh, area. So thank you very much. I, I hope this was uh, informative. And uh, please, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.
Okay, I hope that you are all can hear me. Uh, no, Mirna, you didn't say alone. Um, okay, uh, do you have some questions for Mirna? Mira, thank you very very much for your participation because we we I I I've learned uh, a lot of um, new places and new uh, words in um, in the co co-working um, world. So um, okay, Florian, we can discuss in Thursday. Florian thinks that the co-work Matt has studied in the management model. And that your pop-up model, um, Mirna, is interesting. Pop-up Ilica, yes. That's the, the street in Zagreb. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have one question for you, Mirna. Uh, what do you think the future of co-working is from the perspective of innovative, innovative management model and social innovation? And uh, maybe uh, for your opinion, what's the, what is the best way of uh, revitalization spaces using ex ex existing resor resources and connecting independent professionals? Can you tell us maybe something about mm -hmm. that? Sure. Um, yes, it's uh, it's quite a complex question. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, what I see, and I'm glad. Uh, uh, to see that there are some new models uh, popping up uh, uh, on uh, on the island of Vis, uh, there's an initiative very at the very beginning phase uh, in cooperation uh, with uh, the private university Vern to use uh, their facility uh, and to provide uh, winter housing for digital nomads. Uh, so they kind of recognize the niche, and so I'm glad to see that. Uh, also, in uh, I think in uh, Međimurska county, Međimurje, uh, there's an initiative for the rural uh, pop-up rural hubs, which I think it's uh, it's exactly and uh, I think Matija would and Renata will uh, maybe remember at one of the first uh, workshops when the, the co-working uh, Mediterranean Med uh, started, we talked about possibility that it would be great to not only provide co-working uh, in the cities uh, because it's kind of for the the community uh, it's, uh, independent professionals ips and uh, it's those are very similar models and we saw from uh, from renato's presentation and those are the ones that are usually popping up and establishing but then you're completely uh, uh missing the rural area and rural areas don't have that kind of community. So it's great to provide something, again, that is based on the needs of that specific community, even if it's in a uh, in a former stable or, or in a kind of a very rural kind of facilities that are not designer and, you know, the coffees and the, and the similar as in the city. So so that's great. Or, or in the in the mountains, maybe for the, you know, outdoor communities or something that is really specific for that community. Uh, in terms of the revitalization, I think uh, Papa Pilica, uh, it's a great uh, innovative management model. Uh, one of the recommendations is to uh, establish a, a good cooperation with the city. So really include the public sector uh, in the whole process uh, and uh, also the, to, to really uh, kind of facilitate the uh, cooperation between the community and the city or municipality. Uh, and we have done that uh, through our social innovation community project. It's a Horizon 2020 project uh, where we actually also with Matthias uh, uh, assistance and uh, cooperation, uh, we, we brought together city departments and the creative communities on the project of uh, to to assess uh, uh, the opportunities for Papa Pilica uh, and to co-create the management model that would be um, that would work. Uh, so I think it's it's really critical to bring those sectors together because usually they completely don't uh, talk and don't cooperate and they don't see opportunities and how can they actually work together for a win-win situation. Um, Clearly, it's something that it's not uh, uh, overnight solution, and because when you have the city included, then it takes a while. <laughs> so, especially if you have also state properties, uh, but I think that would be uh, something that that uh, really works. 
So especially if you have cities like Shibani or Zadar or some others that are more open to that cooperation. So I, I think that's, that's a good way to go. Okay, thank you very much. Do thank we you. have do we have uh, any question from our part participants? Orian says okay for me. Isabel. Isabel changed her mind. Okay. <laughs> so I think uh, we can um, we can uh, end this um, webinar. Thank you all. Um, okay, Isabel is thanking thank thank you for the presentation. Uh, I thank you all to be part of this webinar. I thank uh, Mirna and Renata to present uh, their their um, spaces in uh, in um, in the short presentation. So um, I hope that we uh, all see each other in uh, Thursday in Zagreb, and I wish you all a safe trip and uh, see you in Technical Park Zagreb. And goodbye, goodbye to everybody. Bye bye. Thank you. Yes. See you. Thank bye bye. You. Bye bye.